I'm scared to try the hard. Gonna do it anyway. Nice. Oh. My. Okay. Whoa. Oh, my. <laughs> One, two, th only four of them. On oh, no, there's five. I just realized what was on the floor. Okay. This is kind of cool looking, though. Look at this. I never thought about banners on the sea lanterns. That's awesome. I'm going to steal that design choice, Oblivion. Hope you don't mind. We're going to start on one, though. On one. I cannot... I cannot hit the button while jumping. Okay, you know what? That works. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's double the fun. You have to get both of the mine cards to their own code blocks in order to complete this level. Oh, and do not let this be too easy. If the mine cards get too close to each other, one block radius, it will crash and burn. Jump in either of them to begin. Good luck. All right. All right. All right. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we're just going to take this up and go straight across to right here. And then go over here and go this way. And perfect. And that's actually a left turn. And then the green one just has to avoid that. This one is going to turn left here. It's going to turn right here, not left. It's going to turn right here, and it's going to turn left here, and we'll be right back to where we were. And then turn left, not not that. Okay. Uh, huh. Not what I was hoping for, but still can work with it. Okay, so what if we turned right, come over here, turn left, turn right, and stuck in, a, in an impasse. And that's not good. Or if we just let this come straight up here to cross, and then we're going to turn left, go this way. No, I'm curious as to whether they actually move at the same speed when I'm in one. Or like, you know how like minecarts don't move at the same speed when you're in one as opposed to when it's empty? That's what I mean. Okay. Yep, they both move into one another. Alright. Alright. Don't know how to make this work. All right, so I'm working backwards again. We're working on the green one, so we're gonna come down here and then we can, we're gonna need to turn into this from either left or right turn at some point, because it ends right here. So I'm gonna go with a right turn into there. So we're need to come back this way from at some point and let it turn left right there. And that's exactly what I've already done. I already tried that. Oh, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. And I cannot let any block ob obstruct this path right here because this is the one that orange takes. If I had some jump blocks, this would be much easier. Oh, actually. If we were taking the left turn onto this path, then we would come from here. And we would take a right turn right here left turn that's a left turn left turn right there and then we would need a mm. okay what if we came out here instead of going straight out we take a right turn and we come over here and take a left turn and then we come over here take a right turn and then a left turn and then we're there okay so then the green one, the way it would just come straight out with that one. Take a right turn, take a left turn, and then we're at the orange with the green. Ah. Uh, ha. Huh. The other option, which might work out the best, is to end up funneling both of them into the exact same path, where they both come along the back wall here somehow. It's not going to work though. 
because you can't get to the back wall. You can't turn onto it. Uh, this wasn't against the wall. I could make this work. All right, so here's what my thought is. Since both of these are taking pretty much the exact same path and they're mirrored, the path or the goals and the starts are mirrored. That means that the paths themselves should not be symmetrical. Like, like I was trying to do it the first time, having it one go this way, then around, and then up there. Wasn't going to work. So this one's taking a much more complicated path. It's going to go up here. Take a left, take a right, take a right, take a left, take a right. <laughs> that doesn't help you at all. Uh, left, and then we're here. But then I'm thinking, in order to get this one over here... I might have to have it take a right right here, which means we're going to have to come from this path, which means we're going to have a left turn right here, or right here, either way. I'm thinking that it's probably going to be right here because I'm not sure how to get it onto this column, if not from here. Okay, you know what? We're already coming from here. Take a left turn up there. But how do you take the right turn from over here? Didn't think about that. Or, because this is a path that the orange one is not using at all, we could probably just use that. That would work. And so we're taking a right to get onto that one, and then taking a left to get onto this one. Hey, I think this is it. I think this is it. This one will get through the area much faster than the orange one will because that orange one's taking multiple turns. And there we are. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. I can't see the orange one. Oh, uh, I guess I got there. Level two. The ultimate jumping challenge. Show me what you got. This voice is changing and becoming much more insane these days, huh? I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. So we definitely can not. Yeah, we definitely cannot have one on. Oh, wait, you can't place anything on these slabs. Except for these things. Can you jump over that? Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. That's probably a bad idea because you can't turn at the end of it. So you're probably going to take a right turn right here. Which means a jump, a jump, a jump. Doesn't mean a jump, a jump, a jump. Hmm. feel like that ain't right. That ain't right. We're going to take a right turn right here. And then jump right here. And then take a left. And jump right here. Jump right here. And we're going to get rid of all the rest of these. By all, I mean two. <laughs> jump right here. Take a right right here. Jump this. And... Maybe take a left jump. Is that going to actually work? Uh. Hello? <laughs> I seem to have misplaced a block right here. Left block right there. No. It does not work like that. Okay. I can work with that. That's fine. Oh, wait. We could just go right on through there. That's what we can do. And then we can take a left turn right there. Take a left turn right here as well. Sure. And then jump through over here. Jump. And then we're going to take a right turn right here. Going through there. And then we're kind of stuck a little bit. So maybe we don't take a right turn right there. Maybe we take a small jump right here. Then take a right turn over here. And then we're going to be in a little bit of a pickle. 
take a right turn right here. And then maybe jump all the way up here with all these. Sure, that works. Left turn to here, jump pad, then right, and then we're there. Okay, you know what? I think this is it. It's a little bit complicated and a little bit convoluted, and I'm okay with that. As long as it gets us to the goal. We're pretty much using all the jumps we possibly can. Except not all the jumps we possibly can, because that's uh, 64 total jumps then, otherwise. Okay, so far so good, at least. Good, good, good. And then jump up all these things. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. A <clears throat> Level 3. A blank canvas is waiting to be painted on. How very artistic. Your minecart fills every quartz block under it into an ammo block. Your objective is to fill at least 111 blocks. It's that simple. May the power of Bob Ross be with you. Ta-ta! <laughs> okay. Alright then. So we take a right right here. And then we'll just go over here. Take a left. And uh no, wait, 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 wait. Then a left right here. And we'll just continue on like this. Uh this is pretty much the pattern. So this might get boring. So I'll see you in a second. I'm hoping that there's 111 blocks in this triangle that I'm making here. As it turns out, it's actually a little bit easier than I thought it would be because it's just up two and over one. It's basically a knight's move in chess. That wasn't too bad. Hey, hello. It's kind of interesting having the scoreboard right in front of your face instead of on the side. Cool. Probably going to fast forward this right now. This is definitely not going to be 111 blocks. No, significantly less. The tricky part about this is trying to balance what paths you've crossed already with what paths you have not. And it does not seem to be working all that well for me just yet. Yeah, because I have to come up here and then I go over here and I hit this row, so I need this one then. Well, this is actually pretty good. In this little bit of time, I've already filled 69 blocks. Not bad. And then we're in infinite loop there. Okay, you know what? I'll work with this. Okay, now this does seem a little bit crazy here. And it is quite a bit crazy. And it doesn't really seem to make a whole lot of sense even to me. So... But I think it's gonna work. Let's just see. I'm pretty sure that this is going to get me at least 111 blocks. If it gets me more, even better. Wait a minute. How has this got me less blocks? How has this got me even less blocks than it did before? What? I had this all planned out. What? Time to demolish everything. Alright, this seems like the path that will give me the most blocks too. Because I'm filling in this section as well as this section, it looks like. And I'm sorry I'm not really showing my thought process on camera anymore. Right now, I'm just kind of focusing and trying to do this so I'm not really exactly having the best commentary. But it's basically just looping back and forth either the go by going this way and then alternating going up and down and then going... It's kind of like in a big L over and over. Oops. All right. Once again, with the kind of weird L-shaped pattern that I have going, let's hope it works this time. Because this is one that is fairly tedious. Not entirely difficult, just fairly tedious. Wait a minute. Things messed up. Things messed up. It might not be a disaster, but it... Why didn't it go this way? Oh, I placed the blocks in the path. Alright, the small test run has gotten me 70, almost 70 blocks already. So this is good. This is very good. Let's just hope we can eke out another 40 blocks in the last little section. If not, I might rage quit this. 
This is looking promising so far. Oh, please tell me we got 111. Come on, just 11 more. So close. Please. Please. No! Oh, come on! No! Uh, okay, fine. Okay, where can we add some extra meat here? Where to add some extra? I don't know. You know, I can get up here to the fire. I can burn myself to death. They don't have fire resistance on me anymore. What happens if I die? These are the things I ask myself in lieu of actually doing the rest of this.